Hey guys, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Fernanda. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Hey, Ursula, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, classmate. Good evening, Pablo. Let's see. Let's wait for the rest to join. We'll give them a couple more minutes. So how's everything going, guys? Let's see. Let me ask Eileen. Eileen, Eileen, it's finally Friday. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Hello, yes. Hello, uh, yes. Uh, well, tomorrow I will have classes in the afternoon because mm -hmm. I am in my last model in the university. Mm -hmm. right now, I am at a sub. Okay. And this is my last model to the specialization. Mm -hmm. And a class from 2 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. And on Sunday, I will go to the mountain with my family. With your family? Mm -hmm. I think it will be all day in Sushi Toto. Okay. And that's everything. Okay, cool. Sushi Toto is a good option. So yeah. you're an undergrad right now. So as soon as you finish this last part, you will be able to graduate from the university, Eileen. Yes, I think it will be on January to the next mm -hmm. year. Okay, January next year. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool, excellent. Good to know. Thank you for sharing. Let's see. Let me ask, uh, yeah. let's see, Pablo, Cesar, what about you? Do you have any plans for the weekend already? Uh, no, teacher. Uh, I am going to spend time with my family. I, I I I am just I'm I am the weekend free a uh, uh free I am not I'm not going to work uh, I to I pretend to visit my family oh okay and I and I rest I rest uh for a moment. Okay. Already then, good. So yeah, even though you don't have other things, but if you're visiting your families, then that's a good option because you're not yes, working. Yeah. Okay. I'm free my week, my weekend. Okay, cool. It's good to have time for the family, Pablo. Great, yes. then. Thank you for sharing. Let's see, what about Madeline? Do you have any plans already for the weekend? Um, I'm just go to the hospital because I have a practice. Ah, you have practice. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I remember that you're <laughs> studying radiology, right? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And just that. <laughs> okay. Cool. So no more plans other than the practice you have at the hospital. Uh no, and just go to the hospital ah, and study because I have a uh, exposition. And presentation Monday. I have a presentation on Monday uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay, okay. And... great good good that you're taking or that you're earning experience gaining experience in the radiology part okay great thank you Madeline for sharing let's see what about uh, Jonathan Josue what about you any plans for the weekend No, 
Let's see. I don't know if it's okay. Now, now we can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, sorry, brother. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my plan for my weekend is uh, Saturday. I have to work all day, all day, from uh, seven in the morning until five uh, p.m. Mm -hmm. And uh, Saturday, uh, I uh, I wanna go to the church with my mom in the morning at uh, nine in the morning. And uh, the rest of the day, I I just want to rest in my house. Maybe do some something in the house, like uh, clean my 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 room and clean the house, but not really, not too uh, exciting. exciting. Okay. That's it. Okay. Cool. Then thank you very much for sharing. Let's see. Let me ask one more. Let's see. Probably we can go with Erica. Thank you, Jonathan. Let's see. What about you, Erica? For weekend. Uh -huh, yeah, when plans I'm for the weekend. Okay. Weekend. Um. What tomorrow? I will do my homeworks. I will do a test, and probably I will go out with my family at night. And on Sunday. I will go to the church. That's a good plan. Okay, sounds like a good plan. A lot of activities to do then. Thank you, Erica. Let's see, probably I can also ask, let's see, Daniel, what about you, Daniel? Bon appetit if you're eating. So any plans for the weekend? I am eating right now, phone food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, no problem, I don't mind, go ahead. And um, tomorrow I play. And I'm gonna I'm gonna exercise in the morning. Mm -hmm. And and in the afternoon, uh, I do I do my homework. And um, in the in the Sunday I wanna I wanna swim in in the pool. Mm -hmm. uh, and the book name is Trapiche. Is here in Chaltrapa. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, sleep. <laughs> sleep uh, sleep a lot. Only mm -hmm. that. Okay. Probably sleeping. <laughs> sleeping <laughs> is one of the best parts that we that we really enjoy during the week, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool, thank you, Daniel. Now that we're talking about sleeping, ideally we should sleep eight hours a day, right? So that's what experts say that we should sleep to be healthy, uh, to yes. avoid any type of health complications, but sometimes we don't really have uh, enough sleep. So let me ask for, for example, Rebecca. So how many hours do you sleep? I usually sleep like five hours, five, six hours. Okay, five or six hours. Okay, cool. Thank you. Let's see what about, uh, let's see, Brenda, in your case, how many hours do you sleep? Um, usually I sleep um, four or three, five hours. Okay, four hours, my goodness. So when you do sleep yes, three. Yes, because I I wake up at the third, three thirty a.m. Mm -hmm. and, and I sleep uh, ready 11, 12, because I do my homework. And I wake up in this, in this hour because um, I need to travel. Um, um, a San Miguel. Mm -hmm. I live in La Union, and then I study in, in San Miguel. And for the traffic, I need to have already one or two hours mm -hmm. for 
eh, transportation de la Unión at San, to San Miguel. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah. that's quite a tough schedule, right? That you, eh, mm -hmm. that you go to bed almost at midnight and then you have to get up around 3 or 4 a.m. So, yeah. Yeah, it is a quite <laughs> tough, <laughs> it, is yeah. a, it is a quite tough schedule. So I hope you get some rest during the weekend too. Let's see, let me ask. Thank you, Brenda. Edwin, what about you? How many hours do you sleep? We cannot hear you, Edwin. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, can yeah. You... Yeah, now I can hear you. So can how you... many? How many hours do you sleep? Maybe six or seven. Hours. Okay, six or seven. Yeah, that's that's decent, right? Six or seven. Yes. Already then. And let me ask the last person. Let's see, Dianara. What about you, Dianara? So around how many hours do you sleep? Hi, teacher. I'm usually sleep or maybe five or six hours five or six hours okay yeah. already then thank you very much guys for sharing so yeah ideally we should try to sleep a little more same thing like you i sometimes sleep five or six hours because of all the activities that we usually do but ideally we should try to find more time to rest okay Perfect, then thank you very much for your participation. Now I already have 32 people, very good. We're going to start with depending groups that we had from yesterday, but before we do that, let's see some of the things we remember from last night. Let's see, let me ask. Let's see, Aleida, so what do you remember? What did we talk about last night? Uh, yesterday, yesterday, mm -hmm. yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. So, what do you remember? Any new word? Any topic that we talked about? Ah, okay. Uh, um, we are describe uh, a person in 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 our cause in in like in my case in mm -hmm. our case case. Sorry, este describe. Um, my person, the the person go. Um, names, I I I forgive the names. Uh, um, Leslie. Um, uh, no, I don't remember the names. Other names. Sorry. Pardon. Okay. It's okay. Okay, so describe people. That was one, right? So if you guys remember yesterday, we were using different adjectives, right? To describe yes. different things. Uh, yes. We talked a little about personality, personality traits. We're still missing some of them, right? And I shared the list with over a thousand adjectives that we can use. We don't have to necessarily me memorize them between yesterday and today, but we need to practice them, okay? So let's see, in your group, let's see, Oneida, do you remember what were the adjectives that you were using to describe what type of things? We, I remember, I don't secure, um, personality, about personality. Ah, okay, uh, about personality. Can you mention one adjective to describe someone's personality? Uh, ambitious for example ambitious okay great i like it okay ambitious thank you Nada. that's what i wanted to hear let's okay. see maybe i can ask because not all the groups finished the presentation if you remember we still have a couple people uh, we were talking about pique do you guys remember that there was a group that was the group was defending. <laughs> I was, was thinking about 
Piqué and Shakira. Piqué and Shakira, right? So you guys yeah. were describing them and uh, uh, their personality. Uh, if they were ambitious, smart, and some others, yeah. right? So friendly okay. with the women. Stuff like <laughs> friendly that. with the women. Uh, we <laughs> also talked about physical appearance, right? I remember that there was a group that you were describing. Hey, do you remember about this guy from high school? Ah, that this guy is fit and this oh. woman is beautiful, right? Or pretty. So there were different adjectives that that group was using. We talked about personality physical appearance, personality traits, and age and time. I remember that some of you were discussing about a, a play, some places, right? And we had two groups that were pending. We were going to uh, talk about taste and also about the weather, right? So those were the two groups pending. I haven't forgotten about you, but I'm just going to give you a spoiler. It, Tonight, we mentioned that we were going to talk about uh, about movies, right? So get ready to talk about movies. But I'm going to just quickly show you this. And then you let me know what could be the topic that we will also be talking about. I'm just going to show you an image. And then you guys let me know what you see, okay? Okay. Okay, so we have these images right here. So what do you think that we're going to be talking about here? About comparatives. About comparatives. Ah, about comparatives. What are we comparing here, for example, here? Uh, okay, short. probably oh, the height, short. whether they are tall or short. Okay, what about here with the puppies? Well, this is a puppy. This one isn't, but what are we age? comparing here? Probably uh, we're comparing age. Age, age. age or animals. Big and small. Either big or small. We Nature. will see. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. What about this one that we see right here? Rich prices. people. Rich. Economy. Prices. Economy. Economy. And this one here? Poor people. Poor people. Poor people, yeah, could be poor people. Poor people. <laughs> Dow Jones. Okay. Cheaper. Cheaper. Okay, already then. Good job. We're humble. gonna see that humble, humble. So if you don't have money, then automatically you're humble. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> already then. Now like your skin color. Uh-huh. <laughs> the skin color, like the meme, right? That you see that you compare. <laughs> Okay, great then. So, but before we talk about that and see and start comparing things and all that, and we have a couple activities that you talk about the movie, if you may want to compare movies, places, and some others. So it caught my attention that you called, that you talked about uh, economies and cheaper things. So based on your experience, you don't have to Google anything. Uh, what do you think that are the cheapest countries to travel to? Do you guys have any idea? I hear yeah, that Dominican Republic is cheaper than other countries, but it depends of the stage of the year. Ah, okay. We can try to look into that. The Dominican Republic. Let's see. Ricardo, I thank you, Eileen. Ricardo, I guess that you were going to say something. I think is Guatemala is the best country that you travel with um okay now that's a good one Ricardo uh, Guatemala and El Salvador if we compare a trip to Guatemala and to El Salvador which one is more expensive El Salvador so Right now, it is El Salvador because uh, a lot of uh, people uh, say that in, in that case of Guatemala, uh, I think you need uh, less money than El Salvador. You are right. I, I've seen different videos about the people who travel. For example, if you compare Airbnbs here, uh, in for example, in El Tunco, San Diego, uh, La Costa, it depends. On it's what expensive. you 
it is really expensive. Sometimes you pay $300 for one night, $350 for one night. So that's expensive. That's expensive. Okay, good. Any other country besides Guatemala and the Dominican hey. Republic? Honduras. Okay, Honduras, Nicaragua. So I, those, I, I remember know. when I traveled with a, an activity from the university to, to Honduras, to Copan. Mm -hmm. uh, well, depend on the, where do you want to go? Because uh, some of my friends mm -hmm. go to eat to some restaurants and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Another one were to a uh, fast food looking for hamburger and stuff like that. And the ranger guys were went to the market. So I remember I bought a, a plate with beans, rice, salad. And I don't know what kind of beef, <laughs> but it was around one and a half dollar. Okay. It was not bad because even here for lunch, you don't pay 150, right? You pay yeah. at least Two fifty or but, three dollars, but you don't know if if it's uh, dog meat, cat meat, horse meat. <laughs> <laughs> but like it, it was like nice. like what people say from San Vicente, right? From El de Vida, <laughs> San Vicente, that they don't know what type of meat that is, but they say it's delicious. Is there anybody from San Vicente here? <laughs> okay, great. So yeah, that's what people say, right? So. Probably later we're gonna try to compare that. Now, uh, so we don't lose any participation. We had two groups that were pending. Uh, the group five, uh, for group five, you were going to uh, describe the taste, right? You describe the taste of something. So let's see what type of adjectives they would be using. We had Sara. Ricardo, Jennifer, Jose Edgardo, and Walter. Are you guys ready to share your role play right now? I remember that you were talking about pupusas or something like that. Yes, I'm ready, teacher. Okay, so your group, when you're ready, the stage is all yours. Uh, teacher, also, uh, we have a mistake because uh, my group only only was creating the um, the paragraph and is and not is a uh, a role play. Ah, okay, but at least you have the paragraph individually. Is that what you mean? Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah, go ahead. If if it's not a role play, we will still we will still take it as valid. You you can start. I don't know. Who would be the first volunteer or voluntold from the from the group five? Yeah, but uh, we only create one paragraph. Ah, one paragraph. It's okay. Go ahead. Who starts? Okay, so uh, right now I eat the dinner and the flavors are so good because I have a great combination. For example, eggs are salty, beans are spicy, plantain are so sweet and creamy. Bread is toast. Cheese is spicy, and for me, that is a great typical dinner. Okay, so we had different spicy, creamy. What was the other adjective? Um, uh, sweet. Sweet. Okay. And and toast. And toast. Now that you're talking about that, I'm getting hungry. I haven't had dinner yet. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Was that the only paragraph you guys had? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Cool. Cool. For the next time, make sure that you include a, a role play. Like if you were asking, hey, uh, Walter, what are you eating? And then you describe what you're eating, right? For example, okay. uh, if we ask about food, you guys have tried different food around, I mean, all over El Salvador. But what would you say that are the best pupusas that you have tried? Leti Ursula, I see you want to say something. Shoot it. Go ahead. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the pupusas in a popita. <laughs> ah, in a popita. Where? Where exactly? 
Um, eh, her name is La Paciencia. Ah, La Paciencia. His name is La Paciencia. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Cool. So you really need to be patient waiting for your proposal, but okay. <laughs> yes. Good. Now, about pizza, I don't know if you have tried a... What is this? Let's see your opinions. A La Clásica in Santa Tecla. Have you guys tried it? Little Caesar. No. Only Little Caesars. <laughs> And what about, uh, there's a Pizza Italia in Santa Tecla too? Yes, yes. Italian, Italian. Paseo del Carmen. Uh -huh, close. Yeah, it is a little close to El Paseo, right? Mm -hmm. Now, oh, I'll, yes. gi I'll, give you my, uh -huh, I'll give you my opinion about uh, that pi la, la Pizza Classica. I oh, know it is called Pizzeria. Okay, I'll let me see if they have images. Ah, yeah, they do have images. I'll show you this one. This is again my opinion. They uh, have tested the big slice. Uh huh. So again, that's my opinion about this pizza, but it is too thick. Do you guys know the meaning of thick? This is thin when it comes to the materials that they use uh, for the pizza, but this one is just too thick. So what's the meaning of thick? It's como más gruesa. gruesa. Exactly. Yeah, it is the opposite. So thin and thick, right? So my opinion, it is too thick, right? Too thick. And expensive. Yeah, I mean. How much it costs? Only one pizza, I mean, maybe two people can can eat from that pizza, but besides that, it's too thick. It was about $20 or something like that. So I felt it was too expensive. Even the beverages were too expensive. They were too uh, expensive. Uh-huh, Paul? This is the stuffed pizza. Yeah, it is stuffed with a lot of cheese. If you love uh. cheese... Probably you like it, but it's it's quite expensive and thick. That's again my opinion. I prefer yeah. pizza dough well, that is a little uh, crispy. Uh huh, crispy, right? But this one, yeah, too thick, I, I didn't I didn't like it. Uh, yeah, it's a kind of Extra crispy. crispy. Uh huh, a lot of but, cheese. Mm -hmm. But if but if you order thing, that they make it delicious with a lot of um. A lot of food, but they, yes, mm -hmm. it's very very expensive. Uh -huh. I prefer Pizza Hut, and so and second option, mm, Little Caesar. Okay, yeah, Little Caesar. The Pizza Hut, the Pizza Hut, the sauce is. Mm -mm. We don't uh -huh. like. Okay, you uh -huh. don't like the sauce. Okay, let's see, Pablo, were you about to say something? Thank yes, you I I prefer Little Caesar than. Pizza Hut, um, I guess uh, uh, Pollo Campero had uh, a pizza uh, delicious too. Mm -hmm. This um, is less uh, fat. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, what is the name of the pizza from El Pollo Campero? Camperito. Mm -hmm. I don't know the name. Mm. Telepizza. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah, Telepizza. Telepizza. Uh, also, a uh, economic uh, mm -hmm. line mm -hmm. that is Italianissima. Ah, okay. Uh, it's not. It's not good. Okay. Good not to fun. know. Good to know, guys. Thank you very much for sharing. So we will have time to compare. Uh, let's see, we had the last group that was pending. Uh, group six, we had Jacqueline, Yvette, Ursula, Erika, and Jonathan Josue. And yours was to describe the weather. So did you guys create a, a role play for that? Yes. Okay. May, may I share my screen? Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me share the settings. Now you may... Share it, Erica. All yours. Go ahead.
Okay. Um, can you see my screen? Yeah, we can yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Ursula. <laughs> okay. Hi, guys. What's up? I really need to travel next year because I need to make my vacation and I want to travel to USA, but I don't know what to wear. Wow, that Check sounds me. right, Ursula. But what city would you like to visit? Um, I'm planning to visit New York and <laughs> Chicago, maybe. Johnny. Okay, so what is the day do you are planning to visit the, the USA? I'm not sure. Maybe in May or in July. But when is your vacation? My vacation is in June. <laughs> I suggest you be prepared for the weather because it's cold. Oh, really? Thank you for advising me. I will prepare my sweaters. Yeah, my grandma is live. My my grandma was living in New York some years ago, and she told me that for winter the weather is super cold, and most of the time it's snowing. And yes, in the winter the weather is uh, super cold, but maybe if you wanna go to another another place like uh, Florida, you can get a more uh, sunny and bright uh, sky place, and maybe it's better for you. Okay, but Ursula, at the beginning you said you would like to visit Chicago, right? Yes, I'm thinking of visit visiting uh, Chicago as well. So you will need to prepare for the weather because in that city, the weather is hot. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. The city is sunny during the day, but sunny in the evening. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate that. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, excellent, guys. So we did find the what we were expecting to see uh, in the different adjectives to describe the weather, such as cold, uh, what was the other one, hot, sunny, and some others that you added. So thank you very much for going over this. That is the objective. So you do this type of activity, so you get the vocabulary, and use it, okay? And that you use it, right? Okay, perfect, guys. Thank you very much for going over this. So we are going to start with two things. Uh, before we talked about, uh, we're going to talk about adjectives. That is this, what I was talking about. Let me see, where is it? Where did I leave it? Hold on. I have so many websites open. Give me a second. Okay, cool. So we were talking about uh, comparing things. So in order to compare people, cities, movies, and some others that are different rules that probably you have already seen, okay? Most, of, most likely you have already seen them, but we will quickly check this part, okay? before we do some exercises and before we do the role plays. So we have very simple uh, ways to compare things. And I'm going to share this. Okay, I'm also going to share this image so we can have it as a reference. So now you already have about a thousand adjectives, right? That you can use to, to describe and also to compare. But first, let's see 
what is the actual grammatical structure for this. So how do we compare, okay? Let me see, maybe you can help me read the first part. Let me choose, let's see. Maybe Leslie can help us. Can you read this part right here? The general definition, Leslie. I'm sorry, teacher. Did you take the first screenshot? Ah, uh, no, I haven't. Now that you remind me, thank you. I'm going to take it right now. Hold on. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see. Um, let me take the screenshot. Today's October 13th. Friday the 13th. Spooky. Okay. Okay, everyone, the ones that do not have the cameras off, make sure that you open it so you appear on the screenshot. Let's see, Ricardo, Jennifer, Freddy, Kevin. And I'm going to take the first one right now. Okay, ready? Okay, here we go. Smile to the camera in three, two, one. Okay, I have the first one. Let me take the second one on the second screen, okay? Once again, smile to the camera, everybody. Three, two, one. Okay, great. I have both screenshots and we're gonna take two more later on tonight okay thank you then thank you for smiling to the camera okay great so thank you for reminding me okay cool now we can go back to the comparatives let's quickly check already then let's see leslie you were gonna help me right okay can you read this first part leslie this one right here. Uh, the dog is faster than the elephant. The horse is, is the fastest. Um, the horse is bigger than the dog. Bigger? The, uh -huh. Okay, bigger. And um, the elephant is the... Um, Heaviest, 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 the heaviest. Okay. The dog is more energy than the elephant. Okay, more energetic than the elephant. Excellent. Thank you very much, Leslie. So it looks like the elephant hasn't been to the gym in a while, right? Okay, great. So this is an example of what we use to compare. So we have comparatives and superlatives, okay? So when we are comparing, we are going to see the, okay, let me draw this here. When we are comparing, we usually use this, right? Faster than, you see? We use this, uh, the comparative adjective and the word than, okay? The dog is faster than the elephant, right? I'm comparing two. We use compare we use comparatives when we are comparing to things, people, or animals. And we use the superlative like this when we are comparing them with all, right? In this case, we are comparing three: the dog, the horse, and the elephant, right? So remember, if you're comparing only two, we use comparatives. If you're comparing more than two, or many more, so we use the superlatives, okay? Now, what are the rules? We have different rules for adjectives, comparatives, and superlatives. Let's see, can you help us and go over the first uh, example? Let's see, Hami, the ones for one syllable. Can you read the ones for one syllable? Which teacher? Uh, this one right here that I'm selecting, one syllable fast. Oh, okay. Um, one syllable mm -hmm. fast, faster, 
and the fastest. Okay. Young, younger, and the youngest. And the youngest, right? The youngest. Okay, great. Thank you, honey. We appreciate your help. Let's see, maybe Maricela, you can take the next one, the one that is one syllable ending in the letter E. Okay, teacher. One syllable and the N E. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Na nice. And the nice. Okay, nice, nicer. Nicer, sorry, and uh -huh. the nicer. The nicest, okay, excellent. Thank you, Maricela. And let's see, uh, and can you also read the next one, strange? French. Pregnant. Okay, stranger, okay. Stranger and the, the strangest. The strangest, okay, thank you. Thank you, right. Leslie, for your help. Okay, great. So now we're moving to the next one. This is one syllable and where we have a consonant plus short vowel plus consonant. These ones are very short. So if you notice to compare, most likely we use the ER or the EST, right? That's like the general rule. Uh, maybe... Let me see people that I have available. Uh, Marta, maybe you can help us with this one, Marta. Oh, okay. One syllable. Consonant plus short vowel mass consonant. Um, big. Mm -hmm. uh, creo que hay algo ahí. Okay. Oh, yeah, big. sorry. Big hot, um, double the last consonant in add. And add ER or EST? Mm -hmm. ER, EST, EST, big, bigger, the biggest, hot, hotter, the hot, the hotter. The hottest, right? So the yeah, hottest. we okay. the hottest, okay? Excellent. Thank okay. you, Marta. And okay. let's see. Thank you. Now let's see. Oh, hold on. Let me move this a little. And let me erase. Oops, that was the incorrect one. Okay. Now we're gonna check this one. The two syllables ending in Y, so happy, right? Two syllables, let's see. Pablo, can you help us with this one? Two syllables ending in Y. Hey, teacher. Mm -hmm. Two syllables ending in Y. Mm -hmm. Happy, happier, the happiest. Mm -hmm. Crazy, crazier. The craziest. The craziest. craziest. The craziest. craziest. Okay. Okay. The craziest. Yeah. So if you notice, thank you, Pablo. Here we remove the Y and we add the I E R or the I E S T, right? That's what we're going to practice. Cool. Thank you, Pablo. And what about if we have two or more syllables? Because sometimes we have some adjectives that are a little longer, right? Two or more syllables. Let's see, uh, Fernanda. Can you help us with this part? Two or more syllables. Yes. For example, famous. Uh, more plus uh, famous. For example, more famous. Mm -hmm. Or the most plus famous. Okay. The most famous. The most famous. Other okay. example, beautiful. More beautiful and the most beautiful. And the most beautiful. Okay, excellent. So if you see that the adjective is too long, the old and reliable will be just to add more and most. Okay, excellent. And here we also have some exceptions that are not that common, but we will see some of the ex exceptions as we move on in the course. But let's see, maybe um, 
Ursula, can you help us read the some of the common exceptions? Okay, uh, good. The exception is better, and the other is the best. And bad is worse and the worst. And the worst. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Obviously, we need to practice a little. We're going to be getting there, comparing. We're going to do some exercises. And then you are going to compare people, animals, uh, Shakira and Piqué, Piqué and some other people. I don't know. You call it. We're going to be creative. Okay. For example, what adjective can we use to compare? And this question goes directly to Rebecca. What adjective can you choose to compare Don Pollo and Pollo Campero? I'm hungry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, Don Pollo is uh, better than Pollo Campero, for example. Okay. That could be one. Uh, what other one can we use, Edwin? Thank you, Rebecca. Great job. So she said that Don Pollo is better. So what do you think? Um, Don Pollo is the more word. More? What? I'm sorry. Word. Do you, did you say Word. worse? Worst. Yeah. Economic. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. More economic. I mean, could be, right? Mm -hmm. It depends. Oh, or it could be Don Pollo is cheaper than Pollo Campero. Yeah, that could be another one. Now, if you compare uh, Santa Ana and Santa Tecla, what can you use? Let's see. Yeah, Aleida, go ahead. Santa Ana and Santa Tecla. They are different cities. So what do you think that we can use? Okay. Santa Ana is, is more... Is the most cool? No, is most is cool. Cool the free. Ah, okay. Probably the coolest, but if you're talking about weather, uh, maybe the cold it is colder than a uh, Santa uh, Santa Tecla, right? Uh-huh. Colder. Santa Ana is 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 colder. Santa okay. Tecla is is, is in this in this moment is is come on. it's hotter no es que santa tecla está también helado entonces pero santa ana es más fresco es lo que quiero decir ah you can use cooler then cooler because cool you can use it for weather maybe it's not cold but it's cool right cool weather so cooler, yeah. where uh, in this case santa ana uh -huh. You can say Santa Ana is cooler. 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 In Santa Tecla is cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That could be another one. Excellent, guys. Now, this one is about comparatives, right? So we really need to know how to compare things. So to do that, we are going to check this out. I'm going to share this link. Obviously, you are the center of this learning. Then you need to practice. So, uh, okay, can you see my screen? Yes. So I'm going yeah. to share this link yeah. so we can compare. I don't know why I see it a little blurry, but anyways. So we have this sentence right here so we can practice. So maybe Walter can help me. So we have a dog and a hyena, right? So yeah. what can you say about this? A, B, C, D, E, or F? I think it is letter B. Letter? Letter B. Letter B. Okay, so a dog is friends than a hyena. Okay, what do the no, rest B. think? Letter D. Is letter E. Letter D. Letter E. Letter E. Friend, letter Dan. Okay, let me go with what you guys say. Okay, yeah, 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 it is correct. So the dog is friendlier, right? So what are we going to do so we can, you know, 
quickly take a look of, uh, of the different comparatives. Here we are comparing only two, okay? To animals, to people, to things. So this is what we're gonna do, okay? We are going to practice it in groups. So if at some point you find words that you don't know, we are going to discuss them, okay? Uh, okay. Let me see. Can you guys test if you can open the, the link that I just shared? Okay. Can you test it? If you want to use it in your cell phone, it also works, okay? Did it open? Just testing, right? Okay, yes. cool. So we're gonna yes. take some minutes. Uh, you are allowed to, to do screen sharing in the group. So maybe if we have five people, maybe one of you can share the screen and then can you do them together, right? For, you know, this is to warm up a little. Is it clear about what we need to do? Yes. 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 Okay, excellent then. Uh, and I will be watching you in the groups. Okay, here we go. Let me open the map I have. Okay. We're creating six groups. There we go. Please accept the invite. Que more dangerous. Teacher. Yes, yes, Daniel, I can hear you. Uh, how, uh, how do you say hippo, hippo, hippo? <laughs> yeah, it's a hippo. 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 Oh, okay. okay. Let me just double check it. Uh -huh. Okay, Aibo is danger then. Hippo, it's a hippo. Hippo. Okay. Danger. What is the correct, guys? Danger. Hey. Oh, no. <laughs> Oopsie, <I'm> doopsie. More <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> Achira is... Achira is... Ashira is faster than snake. Let us see. Let us see for me. Well, I am. Well, he is. Well, it's a uh, letter B. Yeah. Little Start, B. Uh, the Little B. <laughs> <laughs> a lion is only. Lion is a. Uh... Little B for me. Or I think so. Um, because, uh, what's the meaning of Thursday? Do you um, have any idea what the meaning of uh, fears is? No. Uh, fears is a synonym to angry, aggressive. Bravo. Yeah. Feroz. It is like feroz. Fears. Mm -hmm. Fears. Sir. Yeah. Fears. Oh, 
aja kita more friend oi letter e letter e bien letter jang ayana little yes Apa yang dia lakukan? Oh, ke mana? Ori, Ori, Ori ya, letter F A O, not Ori, Ori, no, no, no. Okay, there are A. A, better. Uh -huh. A, better. A. A or B? A. I think it's B. Mm, B. A, yes. B. 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 I think it's B. Yeah, B. It's missing a letter L. Le falta una L, creo yo. But I think oh, that oh, is oh, cierto. Right. Es cierto. <laughs> letter A. Ah, letter D. Oh, is it? Uh -huh. Letter D. You see, you ah. have to pay attention to the spelling. <laughs> yes. 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 Perezoso. Perezoso. Para acá. Sí. Sí. Letter F. F. Lazier, I guess. For me, letter C. F. Oh, no. No, no, letter F. Sí, Dan. Letter F. Yeah. Yes. If. I think he's yes. yeah. Oh, okay. if. The seal is. Slide. 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 Lighter. Letter D. Lighter. Lighter. C or D. I, I don't know. Letter C. Letter C. Yes, there's probably okay. I snake is longer. Longer than there are a. a yes. longer. Yeah. Yes, letter A. Okay. Longer. A monkey. Playfully. Yes, playfully. Playfully. Letter. Letter C. Letter oh, no. B. Oh, no. Ah, Gorilla. Gorilla is... No, it's your turn. Ah, Sara, un S. You hear, sorry, I don't see you in the screen. You try. What? Sara, stay here. Join us. And also Brenda. Ah? And also Brenda is here. Sara Onise. Hola. 
<laughs> okay. You can't participate. I don't see you. Sorry. Ay, que estoy en el trabajo. Entonces, por eso. No es sentido. No. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, it's my turn. Uh, yo creo que es la B. Armstrong. No, there are C. Strong. Strong. Yeah, sí, sí, sí. Just one syllable. Yeah. Strong. It's my turn, right? Yeah. I get up. Is taller than is letter B. Yeah. Uh, your turn, Jackie. Definitely. Okay, I got is. Cleaner than letter A. It's funny the the face of the pig. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine that when the pig is sacrificed. Uh huh. <laughs> that that's a and little that's sad. Yes. <laughs> the butterfly is uh, pretty. Yes. Your turn. Or pretty, pretty. <laughs> it's your turn, Paul. A parrot is noisier than their letter A. Okay, your turn, Jackie. Okay, a monkey. a monkey is stillier, stillier than. In this case, C. Yes, let us see. Yeah. In my choice, the snake is tinier than time. 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 It's more time. No. Tiny. Tiny. But with the double end? Thinner. That's thinner. thinner. Yes. It's, thinner. Like, it's like the pizza the teacher was talking about. Uh huh. Uh, a flamingo is. Um... Slimmer. Uh, letter B. Is it slimmer than? Yeah. No. But. No. It's an exception, see. maybe. Um, mm, in this case. Which one? Uh, let's see. Slim. Slimmer. Huh? Yeah. But slim. No, with yeah, a no, double. No, no, no. Okay. Let me okay. let me double check. So you're asking so if a slim, it's with a slim. double L, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, your turn, Jackie. Yeah, it is with it is okay, with okay, a double. So... It is with a double M. Let me see. Yeah, slimmer, slimmer than I don't know why it took it with with only one yeah. M, but it, it's it is double M, slimmer. Actually, I have a problem with this because this is uh, this is grown, but I don't know. Sure, because it's grown. Which the one? Which one? Uh, you can see my screen. Ah, yeah. Not? Yeah, click on eh, mostrar respuestas. And there we can see which ones are wrong or right, right or wrong. Okay, I can share my screen. You see, I, I take a screenshot with this <laughs> wrong. In this case, I select letter C, but I uh, have a mistake i don't know why because the rating is wrong ah uh, yeah the thing is that it is it is more playful yeah but the letter b say play julie uh-huh yeah. and letter b the one that you selected is a uh, you said you selected play julie that's why no, no. but she i select letter c. c ah you selected letter c that's yeah. weird yeah uh -huh. that's weird if you see in the letter B, it says uh -huh. plagiarism without the, without the F. Uh, what number was that? Let's see, 12, 12. right? Number 12. 12. 
and let's see more playful than ah yeah that one is wrong yeah we will fix have, it okay yeah. we'll change the settings yeah but that's the correct one no worries okay <laughs> uh, I don't remember which was the other well the, the slimmer the slimmer is the last one if I'm not mistaken yeah uh -huh. so that why... would be with a double double m right in this double case m. I have all correct <laughs> okay yeah you do good job so it's a matter of just checking if it is too long if the adjective is too long we go with the more than right more the same adjective and than yeah. okay cool let me check the other groups and then we okay. go back to the main session good job you're doing good okay. we have to send the, the screenshot, so uh, yeah if you want yeah no problem at all thank you then thank you. okay Okay, let's see everybody's going back so we're gonna give in 20 more seconds okay. 20 and, more seconds and i really like diana's uh, background yeah she's in she's in bikini bottom in the bikini bottom. Uh -huh, bikini bottom. Now that you mentioned if you like SpongeBob, you can find the, the episodes in English. And in, I mean, I mean, you learn. You learn new words. Um, okay. Yeah, you do learn new words. Okay, so first let me ask you guys. So how was the practice? Did you find new words? Oh, I know the... Yeah. I'm sorry? Was good. It was good. So there yeah. were two adjectives that, if I'm not mistaken, they were wrong, but we're going to discuss them, okay? If for some reason, they showed like to be incorrect, but we'll, we'll see them. So at some point, did you find a new words when it comes to the adjectives? Yes, yes, teacher. Which yeah. ones did you find? Let's see, Pablo first and then Paul. Which ones did you find? Yeah. Furioso, I, I can't remember, but furioso, creo que es. Fierce. Fierce, Fierce yes. Fierce, yes, yes. okay. That I, is a new word for I me. I don't remember if they were comparing a lion or a leopard mm -hmm. with another animal. Okay. Yes. Good. Uh, yeah, it was fierce. Okay. Thank fierce. you, Pablo. Paul, what about you? What's the one you found? Sillier. Which one? Sillier. Okay. Sillier, right? What were what the that, animals that they were comparing? I don't remember. Maybe a whale with a... I don't remember. Ah, okay. Monkey. Monkey, ah, yeah. monkey gorilla. and gorilla. I don't know if The monkey heard. and the gorilla. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, if it was sillier, probably the monkey. Uh-huh. 
Okay. Wait, Good. What does mean? So silly. Do you guys know the meaning of silly? No. No. What was Wait, that one? So the meaning of silly is it like this? Let me send it in the chat. Silly. Silly. Can you spell it? It's yeah. like bubble. S I L L Y. Yeah. Silly. Ex exactly. Let's see. Guadalupe, you were about to say something. You raise your hand. Uh, Guadalupe. Um. Yes. Sorry, teacher. I have a question with the superlative because in that in one question it said slim, slimmer with double. M and and we select select that that and it's incorrect. Why? Ah uh, yeah. Uh, I okay. I know that is with yeah, okay. it's it's the one with double M. Uh, that is one that was wrong and the other one was with the monkey for playful. So we'll see them. Uh, let me see, let me share my screen. Let me go back a little and we'll quickly do them together, but I need your help on this. So we will quickly check them. There were two that were incorrect, so I'll give you the correct spelling. So uh, let's see, Aleida, can you do me a huge favor and read the whole sentence? A hypo? More dangerous than. More dangerous than. Remember, we are comparing two if it is too long, uh, the adjective is too long, we use more than, right? More dangerous, okay? More dangerous than, let's see. Eileen, what about the next one? We'll see the two that are wrong, okay? The one that Guadalupe okay. and the other one probably Paul mentioned, okay? I see that is faster than a snake. Okay, faster, perfect. Let's see. Uh, can you take this one, Guadalupe? Oh, it's a uh, It's like a, a slim, but I don't remember. That is an example. Ah, and what about this one? Can you uh, read this one oh, about the whale? Uh -huh. um, I think it's B. Okay. Can you read the whole sentence? A whale? A whale is is far than a dolphin. Than a dolphin, excellent. Thank you. Let's see this one about the lion. Diana, what about this one? A lion. A lion is fiercer than a kangaroo. Fiercer than a kangaroo. Fiercer. Okay. Teacher, eso sería como. What the meaning of feroz? Fierce. Fierce is Fierce. feroz, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, aggressive, right? Angry. That's fierce. Uh, let's see, Oneida, what about the next one? Ah, this one for the dog, we did it, don't worry. Let's see, what about the polar bear? Let's see, Oneida. Um, this part is so complicated for me because there's a lot of... Um, Mm, I think it's a uh, letter, letter A. Okay, yeah, why is it yes. showing? <laughs> yeah, it's showing already here. Yeah, yes. but this one is four year. Do you know the meaning of four year? Peludo. Uh-huh. So if you're comparing two, it is más peludo, right? Four year. Yes. For example, okay. I have a dog and a cat. I have Fido in mi casa. And I can say Fido is fourier than mi casa, right? Es más peludo. Okay, great. Let's see. Pablo, can you take the next one? A panda. Yes, uh, a panda is he, he, heavier than a koala. Letter oh. D. Heavier, right? Okay, good. Heavier. Okay, this heavier. is ah, okay, great. Thank you. Let's see, Madeline. What about this one about the monkey? Um, is a monkey is more intelligent than a camel? Okay, so letter A, B, C, D, E, or mm -hmm. F, D. 
D. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's D. Be careful with the spelling because there was one more intelligent, but only with one L, okay? Let's see. This one, it's about a sloth. Erika. Uh -huh. Which one is it? Mm, letter F. Mm, let's lazier. try. Let's try letter F. Yeah, lazier, right? Lazier. Uh, let me try with Walter. Let's see, Walter. Do you know the meaning of seal? What's a seal? Foca. Ah, okay. Foca. Okay. Walter, so. <laughs> Lighter than. <laughs> okay, so which one is it? A, B, C, D, E, or F? Letter C. Okay, let me try with letter C. Excellent. Let's see, Gabriela. Teacher, teacher, a question. Yeah, go ahead, Pablo. What does mean light? Okay, light uh, is something that doesn't weigh that much or is not that fat. Lighter is like a uh, menos pesada. Oh, okay. Oh, uh -huh. yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I understand. Light. Okay. Lighter. Okay, like let's like see. Food. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Gabriela, what about the next one? A snake is longer than a squirrel. A squirrel is ardilla. It's an ardilla. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, ardilla. A, like arenita, sandy chick. It's a squirrel. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so which letter is it? Letter A, I think. Okay. Yes, okay. letter A. Yeah, Marta, go ahead with the next one. A monkey. This one was wrong, okay? Yeah. Oh, this is... B. More monkey. Why, why is monkey letter B? Is, is more, more playful. More yeah, pe this playful is, than... Uh-huh, more playful than a hypo. This is the correct one, guys, but I don't know why for some reasons this was not configured correctly, but I don't know why it chose playfully. But the correct one is this one, okay? Playful. Letter C. Letter, Letter C. C. Yeah. So just Playful. to clarify, we have this one and we have the one for slimmer with double M that was number 20, if I'm not mistaken. Okay? But thank you for, for catching that up. Uh, let's see, Brenda, what about this one? A leopard. Let's see, Brenda, which one do you think it is? Um, letter A. Letter A? Okay. No. I. I. I? I, B, C, A, B, C. E. E. Letter E. Ah, E. e. Okay, be careful with that. I'm I'm sorry, I'm confused uh -huh. with it. Uh-huh, shorter. Uh -huh. And not again, the... the the <laughs> okay, Daniel, what about the turtle? I think um, letter, letter C, is lower okay. than. Slower, great, Fernanda. Okay, is a gorilla, is more, no. <laughs> Is stronger than a monkey. Stronger than a monkey, okay. Rebecca, thank you. What about the giraffe? Is taller than a deer. There are big. Okay, good. Let's see. Uh, Ursula, what about the next one? I, I It's really funny, the, the face for the big. <laughs> Let's see, Ursula. Um... I don't remember, but I think it's a cat is um, more cleaner. More Letter cleaner? B. Letter B? Then. Are you sure? Mm. Help me, guys. <laughs> I think it's that. 
When you see the cat leaders, I do not know if consider them cleaner, right? But that's a, another topic. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the next one goes to Madeline. So this one about the butterfly. Is pretty than a fly. Uh -huh. See, so, see. see, prettier, uh -huh. prettier, uh -huh. poor fly, right? Uh -huh. Poor fly. Okay, let's see. Eileen, what about the parrot? Oh, uh, okay. A parrot is nicer than a canary, a letter A. Letter A. Okay, yeah, noisier. What, what was the noisier, teacher? Uh, teacher noisier. Uh, ruidoso. Yeah, ruidoso. I remember okay. that I used to Thank have a, a neighbor that wa she was really noisy. She was probably Thank the you. noisiest. <laughs> okay. okay. Great. Let's see the next one. Paul, what do you have for this one? Um, a monkey is sillier than it wants to be the letter C. Okay. Sillier than the gorilla. Okay. Let's see. Uh huh. Celia uh, is like a funny. Uh, yeah, if you may want to call it, it silly is like a bobo, something like that. Uh -huh. So, yeah, for animals, even people sometimes say, hey, don't be silly, right? When you are joking or doing something, uh -huh. hey, you okay. don't be silly. Uh huh. Yeah. Let's see the next one. Maybe Jose Gardo can help us with this one. I'm sorry. Yeah, a snake is okay. A snake is tying tan. So it is, is it A B or C? B. Okay, letter B. B. Yeah, thinner, right? Thinner. Okay, this is the one that was incorrect. Uh, because yeah. it is slimmer with the double M, okay? Yeah. Yes. So this is the correct one, but we're going to skip yeah. it and probably it was misspelled. And let's see the last one, last but not least. Let's see, Sara, can you take this one? A monkey? Mm, let's see, Sara. Letter B, okay? Crazier, okay? Cool, guys. Excellent. Teacher, uh huh. Teacher, can you back up? Uh huh. In this question, what what is in the in the twenty two? Uh, is it this one or the next one? No, next one. Twenty two. Uh huh. What is the correct? So. This one is the one that we said that was with double M. The correct one is this, okay? Slimmer mm -hmm. with double M. I don't know why this they misspelled it only mm -hmm. with one, but it's with double M, okay? Slimmer. Slimmer with double M. Okay, great guys. Uh -huh. You do. You do. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, you do. You, you did get a 10. Okay. So now let me ask you something. How many new animals did you learn in this part? New animals? Deer. The deer. Uh -huh. The deer. Any other one? Seal. The seal. seal. Okay. Seal, deer. Casil. Sloth. The sloth, right? Sloth. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sloth. Besides the animals that you learned, uh, we were just comparing two, right? So we were in the part of the comparatives. So uh, about the adjectives, did you find or did you learn new adjectives in this part? Teacher. How do yes. you pronounce how do you pronounce tortuga in English? Turtle. 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 
turtle. No es turtle. Uh, oh, you, you, you can say turtle. Así you, digo yo. You can say okay. turtle, but in English we have something that is called the fast T. So since you pronounce it very fast, you say turtle. Turtle. In British. If you, if you say turtle, people would understand. I mean, they would understand that you are talking about a turtle, right? But yeah, it is turtle. Turtle. Okay. So, In British. So, British. Uh -huh, yeah, turtle is the one. There is a difference. So you keep that in mind. I'm going to show you the differences because some people get confused with the turtle and the tortoise. Let's see. Let me show you. Can you see my screen? Yep. Yeah. So this yes. is a turtle, okay? So what is the difference that you guys see between a turtle and a tortoise? From oh. land and from sea. Oh, okay. So yeah, uh, one is the from tierra. the land and the other one is from the sea. So be careful if you throw a turtle to the to the sea or to a river okay okay oh, okay <laughs> uh -huh. so this is the difference in spanish i guess that do we make a difference between turtle and tortoise i guess we don't right we just call them tortugas and that's it yes uh -huh. okay, we have the the galapago the complement the el apellido por decirlo así tortuga de mar Ah, tortuga yeah, I guess, I guess we do, right? Yeah. We made the last name. Uh -huh, the last name to the total. Uh -huh. Okay. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Before we leave, guys, uh -huh, before we leave, guys, I have a question. Did you receive the, the users for the platform? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Everyone yes. did. <laughs> Everyone did. Okay. So probably on Monday we're gonna take some time to to practice because you know that we cover topics and you also practice in the platform. Uh, if you complete everything, then great, you get a ten, and I will let you know when we have the tests, right? Because this is class number three. Uh huh. This is class number three, so we will cover a few things. And sure. I'll let you know what's going to be the next activities, upcoming activities. Yes, go ahead. Uh, I received the, about the platform, uh -huh. but it just say the last module. I don't, I'm not, no tengo habilitado el, el ah, you, módulo que tengo. You don't have hey, the new module. Yeah. Ah, okay. So mm -hmm. let me tell Gisela, because this is the next module. Okay, hold on. This is the module that you should have. Uh huh. The one that can you see my screen? Yeah. This is the one that you should have the pre intermediate tool. So, yeah, probably you only got the user, but she's still pending to assign it. So, I'll, I'll let her know. I didn't receive my credentials. So who has, can you do me a favor and in the WhatsApp group, can, can you, ah, oh, yeah, you only have printer meted one. So for the ones who have not received it in the WhatsApp group, just say, teacher, I haven't received my credentials. So I'll tell uh, Gisela, okay? Okay. Okay, no. great then. Thank you very much guys for making it tonight. Uh, we it's don't sure. have more time. Yeah, Ursula, go ahead. The picture. Ah, yeah, the second picture. Everyone smile mm -hmm. to the camera in three, two, one. Okay, I have screenshot number one. Hold on, I'm gonna take number two. In a moment. Okay. I'm going to take the second one. Everyone smile to the camera. Three, two, one. Already then. Great guys. Thank you very much for making it tonight. I hope you enjoy your weekend, okay? Sleep okay. well, eat well, and we'll see each other on Monday. It was good thank to you. see you tonight. See you then. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Have a good weekend.
Have a good one. Bye bye.